Hey guys and welcome to the video and I hope you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, a lot of stuff has happened since last week's vlog. Um, the council meeting is tomorrow and i got to be honest, Yvonne, you have been absolutely a star. She has been literally researching, finding out this, doing everything she possibly can to put a beautiful speech together. And she is currently at home right now going over what she wants to say at the meeting. I have been told by a local neighbour that she uh, witnessed somebody out the other morning with a torch looking around the area. So I'm thinking, was that the Forestry Commission that came out to have a look? Because they have been in contact it by the local council so fingers crossed guys do you know that could be what it is because i've got to say there was a load of trees there that had nothing wrong with them i mean there was no disease no wood rot no absolutely nothing so i thought do you know what i'm just going to go out and have a little walk around and uh, hopefully see if i can see any evidence of anything else here that's happened aha uh -huh. see this one's got some spray paint i'm not too sure what that means Spray paint, spray paint. And what's this one say on it? Is that 138? 138. So it makes you question how many of these trees that were here before, how many years old were they? And were they protected? That's got to be something to do with the Forestry Commission because who in their right mind would go around and uh, spray paint the uh, remains of trees? I do have a strange question, right? Why wasn't these ones got rid of? Why wasn't this completely flattened? And also, why have they left it with hedges sort of here? So just to recap, if you look at this map now, you see this line here. Well, that is the public right away. However, if you look at this map, if you see this line here, I believe that is the path that many people used over the years. I'm going to try my best to see if I could follow the public right away and see if it's safe to do so. Strange to think you used to be able to walk through here, you had to duck a little bit. As you've already seen on the map, the two areas sort of come to a point. And where I am stood now is that point. And as you can clearly see, it is no way safe for anyone to pass through this area here. If you follow my finger here, you go up around there and that'll take you to the public right away, right? Whereas this way was obviously that direct path that many people used over the years. However, guys, I've just noticed this here, right? Probably the reason why I've never seen this before is because it's been covered over for so many odd years. Especially on the way home guys and I noticed some more um, concrete and some bricks here is a mound of what looks to be some bricks and all sorts like a big sort of boulder of like random stuff there and also over here guys now I've been through this area so many times and I've never seen this strange absolutely crazy However, guys, on a positive note from Mother Nature, the wonderful weather we're having today is absolutely beautiful. Wow, guys, it is absolutely freezing today. I mean, it's that cold that the tips of my fingers are getting cold. My ears are cold and my nose is cold. And the temperature is five and a half degrees Celsius. And you could definitely tell it's uh, on its way to uh, winter. However, guys, I've got to confess, me and Ivana has been so busy this last week finding out information about the common, what rights, what rights we do and don't have as the public, and also what rights it, that do and don't have as the landowner. It's like last week I said on the last week's vlog that um, it's amazing that we've got the chase right on our doorstep, but without looking at maps, we wouldn't have had a clue. But unfortunately, guys, I can't take you in on the uh, town council's meeting because um, I'm not allowed to record. But anyways, I'm going to get myself into work now and uh, get myself a little bit more warmer. Oh my God, guys. I have literally had the one of the craziest shifts ever. It turned out that I was supposed to have uh, 
being there a little extra today and I was like I am and she was like yeah you're on the road turn I'm like oh okay then no worries but anyways I've got to say me and Yvonne are literally getting a tad nervous for tonight so I'm hoping guys there's a lot of uh, the Rusey residents that will attend that meeting it'd be absolutely awesome however guys me and you are gonna go into town because I need to uh, see if I get Yvonne's watch sorted out because the uh, battery I think has stopped working in it Oh my God, guys, I am severely oh, out of breath right now. I literally thought I lost Yvonne's watch. I got into town and I'm patting myself down thinking, where's this watch gone? And I'm starting to get stressed. So I literally legged it from town and did a backtrace to Tesco's. I looked around there and I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. I didn't check one of my pockets. Watch was right next to me. Anyways, guys. Let's uh, take two on that. Well guys, me and Yvonne forgot it was Wednesday, being, you know, most shops shut half day. All the shops I was gonna go into to see if I get this battery replaced, they're all shut. I feel like I wasted my energy running around for that watch that I didn't lose. I feel like I've wasted my energy coming into town for a shop that is not even open. So anyways, I'm gonna get myself home and uh, relax for a bit. I found me a kitty. I was just going to pick up Yvonne and I wanted to see what the uh, canal looked like today. Oh my god, look at all these ducks. Wow, there's loads of them here. Interesting concept here. Anyways, I'm going to get off and uh, go and meet up with Yvonne because I am supposed to be picking her up right now. But um, i got to say, I am absolutely loving a few of the ideas I have had for recording, right? After using my phone the other day to record um, a bit of the common in wide-angled lens, I'm hoping I might be able to uh, be uh, able to do some creative stuff with that. And I have limitations on both my phones because I use two phones to do most of my recordings. Last night, I was playing around on my phone and I've done a little bit more playing around on my phone today, taking different types of pictures, doing different types of videos and I thought do you know what I might be onto something there okay guys is that time I am feeling quite nervous how are you feeling um nervous too yeah I'd say yeah but that's natural isn't it you know unless you're a public speaker you know it's you're not going to be used to speaking in front of an audience very true yeah she has a very good point we're not used to speaking in in uh in the middle of like a load of people we have just had an awesome meeting and this beautiful star here was absolutely awesome how do you feel now oh, i feel absolutely fantastic now <laughs> then it's done now it's fine however guys we have had a few good bits of information and i'm not willing to tell you quite yet because um we want to see what the council is going to do it was nice to actually meet up with a few uh councillors that i've uh, been talking to online and also it was nice to meet up with a load of the residents that turned up and oh my gosh the amount of support is there so i want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys to for your support and a huge thank you to this lady here for being absolutely awesome <laughs> thank you oh there you go so anyway we're gonna head on home now and uh go i suppose go to bed oh it's definitely on its way to winter <laughs> look at that nice glisten there give it a quick spray of all this we have yvonne waiting in the car right now so she's uh she just said to me it's a lot more warmer outside than it is inside the car well guys, we are now at work and I gotta confess, the reason why we're both freezing is it's literally zero degrees Celsius right now. And apparently we're supposed to be getting some snow soon, so that'll be interesting to see if we can capture some of that. But I thought I'll uh, get Yvonne to say hello to you guys. Hello. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna get ourselves in now and uh, hopefully have a good shift and uh, hopefully warm up because it's absolutely so cold.
Wow, guys, it is so weird to be here at this time of day. I've uh, picked up an overtime shift, and uh, it meant that I was starting at half past six in the evening, whereas I'm usually starting at, you know, six o'clock in the morning. I'm in the location, guys, where I do my uh, daily videos that I upload to my Facebook page, and uh, it seems weird that there's all this traffic around me, whereas in the morning, it is literally just so quiet and there's probably one or two cars it's not that many honestly guys unfortunately this is where i'm gonna have to love and leave you so i want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you that's came by and watched this video it means the world to not only me but also to yvonne too it's just absolutely awesome and always do your best guys to stay positive and screw all these negatives because that's all you can do and i'll see you guys on the next one all right bye easy bye <laughs>